Hello and welcome to Let's Play Sylvan Tale. I'm Malefact. Let us begin. Sylvan Tale uh, was referred to as an RPG, um, but as many good old games back in 1995 when this was released for the Game Gear, um, it's more of an action adventure. It has many similarities with Zelda, as you'll see, including the uh, Collect the Six Shiny MacGuffins plot. Um, but it's a great game, and there are two main reasons why I really like it. Um, the central mechanic, uh, where you switch between a variety of animal forms to solve puzzles. Um, it's very well done, uh, it's very slick, and it's just very fun. The puzzles aren't the hardest things in the world, but the way they're put together to uh, break up the flow of the exploration and the combat elements, it's just really well done. Kind of imagine uh, the mechanic from Majora's Mask where you're changing the different animals and the second party elements from um, Paper Mario franchise and you'll have something akin to the mechanic we have here. Uh, the other reason is that, uh, unlike this introduction, uh, don't be misled by it, this game doesn't rely on a lot of text or exposition to make itself um, an epic game. It relies on the atmosphere, the music, just the general overall style, uh, which is just very charming and very joyful, and it is a real joy to play and replay, and I've played this a good couple of times, and uh, I just keep coming back to it because it's a really fantastic game. Anyway, I'll stop singing your praises because, you know, you can witter on about how great a game is all day at the end of the day, it's just your opinion. I always think it's better to show you, and we're going to have a chance any second now, I believe. We must save Silverant. But first, we will dance! Okay, no, that's really the push animation, I just find it hilarious. This game uh, <laughs> adheres to Miyamoto's first law of game design, which is in an action adventure show your character something they can't do as soon as possible. And we can't get into that tree, though it will be very important. All we can do is go down for now. We've already got a sword, but it's not really a sword, it's called the Seed. It's sort of a magical artifact, which we'll learn a bit more about later on. Ah, that's a health up item, cherries. All of the health up items in this game are fruit. I find that wonderful as well. Oh, now we're in the first town already. Another one of those leafy doors. Let's have a quick chat with people. How about you? Hmm. The face like rock is dangerous, which means it must be filled with something important. You keep reading, kid. Not that it'll be important to our quest or anything. No. What's in here? Ah, uh, here are a couple of manuals and rule books that tell you how to play. Basically just general commands. In fact, I haven't shown you the, the uh, main menu yet. Just press that there. That's the form change menu, and that's the items menu. Here you can save your game or look at the map. This is our first map. It's not the only one. And as we can see, there's a red flashing item. It's the first droplet of the game. Um, slightly northwest. I know my cardinal directions. We could go up there. There's one more person we want to talk to. Like a couple of action adventures, the conversations with these guys will change after we collect some items. Ah. Seems that kids have been left alive by the monsters, but the adults haven't been so lucky. Hmm. Ah, oh, that's just hard. Well, we'll do what we can. Ah, Kids, say no to tentacles. Oh, my ears are wet now. This looks like the place. Ooh, pineapple. Pineapple is the best health up item. It'll restore your health completely. Well, I say the best. Actually, an apple's the best thing because for some reason you can store an apple in your item menu, but you can't store the other fruit. 
I guess apples are hardier. Beats me. Uh, another leafy door up there. But behind here, we have the almost obligatory first chest of the game. Hey! And what's in the chest? It's an orange! <laughs> what, you didn't think that the uh, max life increase item wouldn't be a piece of fruit, did you? Uh, aside from increasing our maximum health, the orange will also protect us from disease on long ship voyages. Particularly scurvy. Pirate, I was meant to be. In we go! And it's the first labyrinth of the game, the Flame Labyrinth. With a pretty apparent theme, fire. Well, we better get that out of the way to begin with. Huh. That looks dangerous. Let's turn it off. What do you have to say, skeleton? The flame below, eh? Eh, that looks dangerous. Let's see if we can fix that up. Ooh! Ah! You're the son of the son of sun. Okay. This looks fine. Ah! <laughs> That's so dumb. I'm just gonna ignore you. You're all dangerous. The enemies in this game are hard. At least I find them so. I mean, if we're comparing it with uh, Link to the Past, then yeah, it can get pretty hard. The crest is his only hope of advancing. Oh, I see what he means, but we can't get to it because it's on a spout of lava. Hmm. Let's see if we can sort that out at some point. This looks a bit suspicious. Eh. Yeah. Yay, delicious cherries. Let's push this block. Ah, oh, block pushing. How I miss you. And that should hopefully have turned off the flame above. I have to say, the first puzzle, or the first serious puzzle in this, stumped me for quite some time when I played this game first. I just wasn't expecting it. So, oh, I know what you're going to do. Don't you try any of that on me, flame pillars and all. Actually, there is one good reason to kill these things. I, oh, we can't get through there because we need the emblem. So, what have we done wrong? If you kill enough of these, hopefully you'll get an apple. Apples are pretty necessary items that will regain, regain blah, 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 restore your entire health bar, as I said. And you'll need them for bosses most of the time. Hopefully I'll get one before the next boss. If we go down here, dunk! And there's no audio cue, but that's done something. Oh, give me apples. That's the crest. Are you filled with apple? No? No. I'm also a big fan of the music in this game, which um, apparently, according to a couple of websites, was produced by the same guy who did Panzer Dragoon and Panzer Dragoon Auto, which is kind of cool. This is our items menu. Pretty self-explanatory, you can only equip one at once. This is the crest, and we use it with the third button, C. Put it in there. And have we got time to fight the boss? Let's try! Here's the boss. And he's not pleased. Man, I'm pretty nervous about this. We don't have an apple. I usually feel safe with my apples. The one thing you mustn't let him do is hit you with his tornado attack. It is very powerful. But, oh, no, you don't. Also, the fact that the, one of the things I could criticize about this game is you have to tap the uh, movement key twice to dash and it is the most annoying thing in the world where you don't make that double tap and you get hit because you are walking slow. Ah, well that wasn't so bad. 
Here's the red droplet. It's not just a MacGuffin, it gives us a new sword technique. 100 slices. Wow, I wonder where we could use that. Well, this has been uh, Let's Play Sylvan Tale. I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you around next time. Until then, ciao.